Hi everyone and welcome to Astas. Today it's about basics and I want to show you how to make my special ear drying porcelain clay. It's so easy to make. It's really inexpensive and you've probably already got the ingredients at home. And from once you've made this, isn't that just lovely? Look at that, ooh, I just love it. It's just at the right consistency. You can make gorgeous things like little plates like this or a platter like this. And it's so light, uh, lightweight, but it's really versatile. Or if you didn't want to do that, you could make these little roses that I've put around this lamp. Right, let us begin. You need a, a bowl and you need a measuring spoon. Into here I've got some corn starch, you could use potato starch, you could use tapioca starch. Right, that goes into there. There are lots of recipes out there where they call for you to cook it. I actually prefer just doing it this, this method because when I want something, I want it now. So that's one cup and then a half cup of cornstarch thereabouts. You may need to add a little bit more, but there you go, there it is. Right, from there you then need to add into that a cup of PVA or craft glue. So that's a whole cup of that goes into there. This is great stuff. And I like these wee containers too. It's not very economical, but the great thing about this is that it tells me how much is in there. And that's 125 and I need two of those. So put the other one into there. This is, I just love this stuff. And you know, I can make anything that I want to do and it dries on its own. And once you've got the basic recipe, like you're away laughing, it's fabulous. Right, into there you need to add two tablespoons of baby oil or any kind of mineral oil will do and two tablespoons of white vinegar or you could use lime or lemon juice but make sure the pips are out of it. Right to that you now just need to mix those two together and it is because you've got the starch and the glue and you've got the vinegar which is going to sort of and the oil it's sort of all going to emulsify and bind together so you just need to just keep mixing it it's a little bit like making scones. There you go, that's what we're doing. We're going to make scones or biscuits. I think that's what you call them in America. Right, just keep stirring that until it all starts to come together. And that's sort of like a folding and chopping, exactly, exactly like how I learnt to make scones. Except my scones at school actually ended up being like little rocks. Okay, from there, the next, just keep going until that is all sort of like come away. Right, that's the one that I've done. Oh, look at that. Oh, I do like that. Right, we've got to get that to that, which means that we're now going to have to put a bit of elbow grease into it. Right, getting rid of all of this mess here and onto a little bit of corn floured surface like that. Not too much. You now need to get your hands into here and then just lift all of that out until that's all gone. Don't worry about that a little bit because we've just got to move on here. Right, this is the process that's going to take maybe five to 10 minutes. It's just going to depend on what the humidity is like at your place. And you just see how that's all sort of like, ooh, yucky, yucky, yucky. Just get your hands into there and just keep going. Now see how that's all gone a bit sort of like tacky and sticky? hand into there and then just work a wee bit more into that and you oh look at this why didn't I take my ring off I actually need a harder surface but you just keep going and kneading it until all of those bits this is it, as I said it is like making scones and when your hands get you know if your mitts just too wet that's when you know that this isn't right so you just need to put a wee bit more of the cornstarch or the tapioca or um whatever starch you want to use. Pota I actually prefer potato starch because it gives me a nice smooth consistency. But anyway, that there's starting to work itself up now. And as I said, it does take quite a bit of time. And the other thing is the different types of, like the other one that I made before, I used, that I was showing you when we first started, that was with the potato starch. But see, you think it's never going to come right, and then just like that, like magic, it just all starts to sort of come right. So you just have to get through that little sticky stage and keep going until this 
is smooth, 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 and it, I wish I hadn't used this table. Smooth, 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 just like as if you were making scones, as I said, and I have to keep saying that. And then just get your hand into that, and then just keep folding it over, folding it over, adding a little bit more of your starch until it starts to come together. Right, so that's going to take possibly about another five or 10 minutes to get to this consistency that I want, but because I made a whole heap the other day, I've got one to show you. The other thing that I've seen people do is they actually put a little bit of baking, a uh, baby powder onto their hands so that it doesn't stick. Right, from there, there, that's what that's got to go like. So that's using the corn starch, that was using the potato starch, but look at how pliable that is. Now, the word to remember is it is an air dry porcelain type of clay. So once you've done it, the thing to, the next thing to do is to get a bag, like so, and then I get a little bit of grease onto my hands, like this, and put that all over your hands, and then get into that bag, and then just rub that into the inside of your bag and then with my hands I actually put rub it onto that as well so that it just gives that another extra layer of protection put that into there like that these lovely sandwiches snap lock bags are fantastic oh it's a bit messy but never mind then make sure that this is thoroughly 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 sealed and I can't see but once that's sealed then what I do is I put it into another container push that down into there put the lid on that and that as long as the air does not get into it will last for months and months and months much cheaper when you're making big projects like the platters or the bowls I will be back another day to show you how to go about making your own platters Fantastic fun. Thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it.